Tirumurai, Tamil, Tirumurai meaning holy division, is a 12-volume compendium of songs or hymns in praise of Shiva in the Tamil language from the 6th to the 11th century by various poets in South India. Nambi and Nambi compiled the first seven volumes by Apar, Sampandar and Sundara as Tevaram during the 12th century. During the course of time, a strong necessity was felt by scholars to compile Saiva literature to accommodate other works. Tiruvakakam and Tirukovaya by Manakavasagar are included as the eighth. Nine parts are compiled as the ninth Tirumurai, out of which most are unknown, and the tenth is Tirumandiram by Tirumula, the famous Siddha. The eleventh is compiled by Karakal Amaya, Cheraman Peramal, and others. The contemporary Chola king was impressed by the work of Nampi and included Nampi's work in the eleventh Tirumurai. Sekhiza's Periya Puranam, composed a century later, contains the life depiction of all the 63 Nyanmars. The response for the work was so tremendous among Saiva scholars and Kalothunga Chola II that it was included as the 12th Tirumurai. Tirumurai along with Vedas and Saiva Agamas form the basis of Saiva Siddhantha philosophy in Tamil Nadu. History and background The Pallava period in the history of the Tamil land is a period of religious revival of Shaivism by the Shaivite Nayanas who by their Bhakti hymns captured the hearts of the people. They made a tremendous impression on the people by singing the praise of Shiva in soul-stirring devotional hymns. Tirumurai in anthology supersedes Sangam literature, which is predominantly secular in nature. The entire Tirumurai is in Varutam meter or lines of four. The principal characteristics of the head rhyming is influenced both by syllabic and moric prosody. Poets <inaudible> 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 Topic: Hymns. The Shaiva Tirumurai are twelve in number. The first seven Tirumurai are the hymns of the three great Shaivite saints, Sambanda, Apar, and Sundara. These hymns were the best musical compositions of their age. The first three Tirumurai, meaning parts of Tevaram, are composed by Sambantha. The next three by Apar, and the seventh one is composed by Sundara. There is a famous saying about the Saiva trio that Apar sang for me, Sambantha sang for himself, and Sundara sang of gold. Apar and Sambantha lived around the seventh century, while Sundara lived in the eighth century. During the Pallava period these three travelled extensively around Tamil Nadu offering discourses and songs characterised by an emotional devotion to Shiva and objections to Vishnavism, Jainism and Buddhism. Sambantha was a 7th century poet born in Sirkali in Brahmin community and was believed to be suckled by the goddess Parvati, whereupon he sang the first hymn. On the request of the Queen of Pandya Nadu, Sambanda went on a pilgrimage to the south and defeated Jains in debate. The Jains provoked Sambanda by burning his house and challenging him to debate, but Sambanda eventually had victory over them. He was a contemporary of Apar, another Saivasant. Information about Sambanda comes mainly from the Periya Puranam, the 11th century Tamil book on the Nayanas that forms the last volume of the Tirumurai, along with the earlier Tiruttandadakai, poetry by Sundara and Nambiandar Nambi's Tiru Tonda Tiruvandadi. A Sanskrit hagiography called Brahmapureza Charitam is now lost. The first volumes of the Tirumurai contain 384 poems of Sambanda in 4,181 stanzas, all that survive out of a reputed more than 10,000 hymns. Sambantha is believed to have died at the age of 16 in 655 CE on the day of his marriage. 
His verses were set to tune by Nilakantapramalena who is set to have accompanied the poet on his yal or lute. Apar aka Taruna was born in the middle of the 7th century in Tiruvamur, Tamil Nadu, his childhood name for Marulnikya. His sister, Thilagavathya was betrothed to a military commander who died in action. When his sister was about to end her life, he pleaded with her not to leave him alone in the world. She decided to lead an aesthetic life and bring up her only brother. During boyhood, Appa was very much interested in Jainism and started studying its scriptures. He went away from home and stayed in their monastery and was renamed Dharmasena. Details of Appa's life are found in his own hymns and in Sekhiza's Periya Puranam the last book of the Tiramurai. Appa had travelled to nearby Patalipura to join a Jain monastery where he was given the name Dharmasena. Seeing the transient, ephemeral world he decided to probe into truth through renunciation. After a while, afflicted by a painful illness, Dharmasena returned home. He prayed for relief at the Shiva temple where his sister served and was cured. He was also involved in converting the Pallava king, Mahendravaman to Saivism. This was also the period of resurrection of the smaller Shiva temples. Appa sanctified all these temples by his verses and was also involved in cleaning of the dilapidated temples called Uzhavarapadai. He was called Tarunavakarasu, meaning the king of divine speech. He extolled Shiva in 49,000 stanzas out of which 3,130 are now available and compiled in Tiramurai 4-7. When he met Sambanda, he called him Appa meaning father. He is believed to have died at the age of 81 in Tirupugala. Sundara aka Sundaramurti was born in Tirunavalu in a Brahmin family during the end of the 7th century. His own name was Nambi Arura and was prevented from marrying by the divine grace of Shiva. He later married a temple girl named Paraviya and a Velala community girl named Sangaliya. He is the author of 1026 poems compiled as the seventh Tirumurai, Manakavasagas Tiruvakakam and Tirukovaya are compiled as the eighth Tiramurai and is full of visionary experience, divine love and urgent striving for truth. Manakavasagar was the king's prime minister and renounced his post in search of divinity. The ninth Tirumurai has been composed by Tirumala Kaiteva, Sundara, Karuvodava, Nambianda Nambi, Gandharaditya, Venatati Kal, Tiruvalyamatana, Purutotama Nambi, and Satiraya. Among these, the notable is Gandharaditya, 950 to 957 CE, a Chola king who later became a Saivite saint. Tirumandiram by Tirumula unfolds Siddhantha attainment as a fourfold path: virtuous and moral living, temple worship, internal worship, and union with Shiva. Tirumula worked out an original philosophical system, and the southern school of Saiva Siddhantha draws its authority from Tirumandiram, a work of 3,000 verses. Tirumandiram represents another school of thought detailing agamic traditions, which run parallel to the Bhathi movement. It does not glorify temples or deities as in the case of other Tirumurai. The eleventh Tirumurai was composed by Karaikal Ameya, Saraman Paramal, Patinatu P. Pilaiya, Nakaratva, Kapalativa, Tiruvalavayudaya, Nampayan Tarnampi, Ayadigal Kadavakan, Kaladateva, Paranasheva, Elimparaman Adigal, and Athirava Adigal. Nambi's Tiratatana Tiruvanthathi followed an exclusive style of mincing Tamil and Sanskrit verses in Anthati meter similar to Tevaram of the trio. Karaikal Amaya is the earliest of the woman Saivite poets who introduced the Katalai K. Kali T. Tarai meter, which is a complicated structural departure from the old classical Tamil meters. 
The other meter used by Amaya was an old Venba and also an Antathi arrangement in which the offset of one line or stanza is identical with the onset of the next line or stanza. Periya Puranam, Tamil, Periya Puranam the Great Purana or Epic, sometimes also called Tiruttantapuranam, readers, Tiru Thonda Puranam. The Purana of the Holy Devotees is a Tamil poetic account depicting the legendary lives of the 63 Nayanas, the canonical poets of Tamil Shaivism. It was compiled during the 12th century by Sekizar. It provides evidence of trade with West Asia. Sekizar compiled and wrote the Periya Puranam listing the life stories of the 63 Shaiva Nayanas, poets of the god Shiva who composed the liturgical poems of the Tirumurai, and was later himself canonized and the work became part of the sacred canon. Sekizar was a poet and the chief minister in the court of the Chola king, Kalothunga Chola II. Topic. Compilation Raja Raja Chola I CE embarked on a mission to recover the hymns after hearing short excerpts of Tevaram in his court. He sought the help of Nambi Anda Nambi, who was a priest in a temple. It is believed that by divine intervention Nambi found the presence of scripts, in the form of Kadijam leaves half eaten by white ants in a chamber inside the second precinct in Thilai Nataraja temple, Chidambaram. The Brahmanas in the temple informed the king about the tradition that only when all three poets come together, that the chamber can be opened, and Rajaraja found a Warakaran by consecrating the images of the saint poets through the streets of Chidambaram. Rajaraja thus became to be known as Tirumurai Kanda Cholan meaning one who saved the Tirumurai. Thus far Shiva temples only had images of God forms, but after the advent of Rajaraja, the images of the Nayana saints were also placed inside the temple. Nambi arranged the hymns of three saint poets Kampantar, Apa and Sundara as the first seven books, Manakavasagas Tirukovaya and Tiruvakakam as the eighth book, the twenty-eight hymns of nine other saints as the ninth book, the Tirumandiram of Tirumula as the tenth book, forty hymns by twelve other poets as the tenth book, Tirutotana Tiruvanthathi, the sacred anthathi of the labours of the sixty-three Nyana saints, and added his own hymns as the eleventh book. The first seven books were later called Tevaram, and the whole Saiva canon, to which was added, as the twelfth book, Sekiza's Periya Puranam 1135 CE is wholly known as Tiramurai, the holy book. Thus Saiva literature which covers about 600 years of religious, philosophical and literary development. <laughs> Temples revered. Padal Petra Southalams are 275 temples that are revered in the verses of Tevaram and are amongst the greatest Shiva temples of the continent. Vipu Southalangal are places that were mentioned casually in the songs in Tevaram. The focus of the movers first three poets hymns suggests darshan seeing and being seen by God within the puja worship offering. The hymnists made classificatory lists of places like Kartu for forest, Tarai port or refuge, Kulam water tank and Kalam field being used. Thus, both structured and unstructured places in the religious context find a mention in Tevaram. The temples mentioned in the works of the ninth Tirumarai, Tiruvisaripa, are in turn referred to as Tiruvisaipa Thalangal. The shrine of Gangikonda Cholapuram are revered as under Quote, He of the shrine of Gangikonda Cholaswaram takes whatever forms that his worship visualize. 131, 5 <laughs> In culture Tirumurai was one of the reasons for converting Vedic ritual to agamic puja followed in Shiva temples. 
Though these two systems are overlapping, Agamic tradition ensures the perpetuation of the Vedic religion's emphasis on the efficacy of ritual as per Davis. Oduvars, Sauthanakars, or Katalariyas offer musical programs in Shiva temples of Tamil Nadu by singing Tevaram after the daily rituals. These are usually carried out as a chorus program soon after the divine offering. There are records from Kalothunga Chola III from Nalanyana Temple in South Arkat indicating singing of Tiruvempavai and Tiruvalam of Manakavasaga during special occasions in the temple. From the 13th century, the texts were passed on to the Oduvars by the Adhyanams or Mathas and there was no more control by the kings or the Brahmanas. The Oduvars were from the Velala community and were trained in ritual singing in Tevaram schools. Periya Puranam, the 11th century Tamil book on the Nayanas that forms the last volume of the Tiramurai, primarily had references only to Tevaram and subsequently expanded to twelve parts and is one of the first anthologies of Tiramurai. One of the first anthologies of movers' hymns called the Tevara Arulmuritiratu is linked to Tamil Saiva Siddhantha philosophy by grouping 99 verses into 10 categories. The category headings are God, Soul, Bond, Grace, Guru, Methodology, Enlightenment, Bliss, Mantra and Liberation, corresponding to Yamapthi's work, Tiruvarutpayan. Tiramurai Kanda Puranam is another anthology for Tiramurai as a whole, but primarily focuses on Tevaram. It is the first of the works to refer the collection of volumes as Tiramurai. <laughs> <laughs> Notes <laughs>